Hello everyone, my name is San Martinez and welcome to episode number 33 I think of Let's Play. This time I am back in Final Fantasy A Realm Reborn, this time on the PS4 as I have created a new character and wanted to show off something more of the game. I'm gonna show you a dungeon right here, it's the Temtara Deep Deepcroft. Which is unlocked, I think, around level 19, 18, I think. It's part of the main quest, so you get there as long as you follow it. Uh, I've wanted to show off these things as they're one of the most interesting things that's keeping me occupied in the game, aside from the crafting. I am playing as a Lancer, which is a DPS class. So the main reason for me in this party is to do a lot of damage. Hopefully the tank will draw the attention away from me. And then I'll lay the smack down to them. And so far it's going quite well. I hope we have a good healer. Can go there. I've actually done this uh, dungeon or raid or whatever you want to call it uh, myself. It's the second time I'm running through it. Uh, I can use the duty finder to find these kind of things. Currently I have four unlocked and the fourth I need to do a side quest. And I was trying to do that one, but found another party, so I joined that one. Which is what you're watching now. I'm having a lot of fun with this game. It uh, always keeps me coming back for more. I'm not crafting my own gear yet. And I am um, yeah, depending on quests and fate and uh, dungeon rewards and loot chest for my equipment right now. As soon as I'll get the option to mine materials, uh, good materials and, uh, and uh, a higher level in crafting so I can craft my own gear, I will be able to do that. The guild I am in is also uh, really into the crafting. So that comes in quite handy. As you can see, I'm not having too much trouble with it. Relatively, relatively high HP, so I can survive for quite some times. Come on, target, crack one. This one. Yeah. And I'm focusing mostly on combo actions and the uh, interrupting every now and then. I got two interrupting skills. Come in quite handy when you see a boss type enemy or a named enemy to uh, um, what you call it uh, charging a skill. You can interrupt him with the stun ability. So you stun for a couple of seconds and you interrupt the skill, which is really helpful sometimes. There's a chest there. Hopefully there's something good for me. Kill them all. If 
you wanna find me on uh, Fan Fantasy, you wanna play with me sometimes, you can find me on the Phoenix server, which is a European, uh, I think it's the, the Chaos server and then the Phoenix world on that server. Uh, my character's name is San Martinez, with uh, separation it's San and the last name is Martinez. If you want to find me, uh, give me an invite. Uh, you can find me on PSN as well. Just leave me a message and I will add you to my friend list. And hopefully we can play sometimes. As you can see, dungeons are no problems. I'm running fates at the moment. Uh, I unlock the ability to use my mount so I can go to places quite fast. And of course, fast traveling, which you can also use. That's basically the only reason for me to spend gear on. Potions in there. Not what I hoped for. These orbs, I think. Each setup is the same. But, uh, three imps, or two imps, and a uh, mage is protecting them. Focus on the mage. This is armor is quite low. is always one more enemy. This is a bit of a uh, mini boss if you want to call it that. This HP is a lot more than uh, the usual enemies in the area. So it's gonna take a while to take him out. Be sure to stand out of the area of the effects. Damage like that. Also, this skill which lets me uh, have a better rate of carrying. So, most of the damage get parried. Only take like uh, 9 HP damage or something. And this skill is active for about 20 seconds. Only downtime. Uh, the downside is the what you call it uh, recharge rate. It's take about uh, like a minute or something. Anyway, we destroyed the first orb. Let's continue on to the second. And as you can see in the top of the screen. Uh, above the enemy health bar, you can see I've got a couple of boons and uh, a couple of bonuses. Two of those belong to my grand company, which is the build, uh, build system in this game. Uh, they give me, uh, I think both give me 20% uh, XP boosts, one for uh, battle and one for crafting. And then we have uh, my own boost, which comes from food I create as a culinarian. I always do that. Uh, I focus on skill speed boosts and vitality boosts. Uh, if you want, I can also craft some uh, magic uh, uh, magic boosts, uh, spell, uh, spell time. Uh, boosts and things like that, but as I'm not a mage myself, I don't often use them. 
Uh, currently I got uh, 3% XP boost with 4% uh, to vitality and strength, which is really nice. Let me uh, blast through the enemies a lot faster. And I've got a tail of protection from the mage, which lasts for 29 minutes, same with the food. this guy and as you can see I can, I'm also still playing with the controller uh, I got a keyboard hooked up for uh, some chatting which I don't often do and I still want to try out the keyboard and mouse setup which I'm gonna do quite soon when I'm focusing on my uh, my, my conjurer which is the healing uh, the monk of this game It's more easy to select my uh, teammates with the mouse than it is with the controller. There's no problem selecting enemies with the controller, just uh, focusing on teammates is a lot harder. As it prioritizes enemies over allies. And as normally in uh, online RPGs, I focus on uh, melee characters rather than mage characters. The positive side of this game is that I can choose at any moment which class I'm gonna play. I don't need to create another character to do that. Just go into my uh, character tab in the menu. And from there I can switch classes. <coughs> I have access to all the classes, which is really nice. But I am using the Lancer, Botanist, Fisherman, Culinarian and Miner the most. Miner for the shots that I need to create, to craft. And Botanist for the ingredients I need to cook. And of course the culinary and the dishes I need to uh, get my XP boost and HP boost, you name it and I craft it. I also found out you can uh, hire uh, yeah, helping hands called uh, retainers, you can uh, set them out on duties. One of them, I made a botanist out of them and I let them gather materials so I can uh, use the materials later on. And we're at the second orb. Basically, same setup. Grave digger inks and a mage. And after that comes one, you know, some sort of void feature, if I recall correctly. Standing behind him because my skill on triangle, I'm not sure what it's called, as I can read it from here. Uh, it doubles the damage when you attack from behind. And of course, it avoids hits. Just in time, with the stunning ability. Luckily for me, we have a good mage in the party. We 
and is doing one great hell of a job. And thankfully he's there. So I might have died without him. And it had happened on my other character uh, more often than I wish I could remember. And I can't use it, so I passed the item. As you encounter a loot chest, you get three options. You get the option of a need item, greet, and then you take it away and nobody can take it from you. And the option to pass it, I never ever will choose greed, as it's just too greedy. Uh, I only do need when I actually need the item. Uh, there are occasions when I can use it for other class, but I don't. Uh, I just give up the item and pass it to someone else who can actually use it at that moment. And I can always return with another class to gain the item, of course. Asteroids are also trophies related to the, uh, the raids and the dungeons. I can see myself doing these quite some times. Of course these are not the high-end uh, dungeons, <coughs> but at least they are available on hard mode. I'm not sure when, but I read that they are. Dead yet. Sometimes I miss the enemies. It's like they are, they are there, but I can't see them. Maybe. It's not like I'm going to die here. Just beat these guys up. And basically the dungeons and raids are the only instances where the enemies drop gill. Normally they don't, uh, don't drop gill, they only drop items on occasions which can either be a normal item or a high quality uh, version of the same item, if available of course. And most of those items are crafting materials. that into it. I can get into uh, the massive multiplayer online RPGs. However, this game requires a subscription fee. The first month is free when you buy the game. And after that, I think it's 25 euros for 60 days, which is not too bad. However, uh, I play a whole lot of games and most of the times it's just not worth it for me to uh, to buy a subscription as I might play it for a week and then never return to it for months and then one day I think hey I'll play Final Fantasy Online only to find out that I don't have a subscription anymore so that's a bit of waste of money and as I said I play a lot of games and I buy a lot of games Currently I have about 660 games, so I still have to pay for those, and if I go get into the subscription fees, that money goes away from the 
money I can use to buy other games. And I prefer to buy more games. As I'm just a gamer slash collector. Most of the games I don't even play anymore. I just... I just can't get rid of them. I see most people trading their games, but... I, I can't do that anymore. It's, it's my games, and they belong to me. And they need to stay with me. They are nicely sitting here on their shelves. It's good to look at them once in a while. Think, hey, that's a game I also got. And then go back to it after years. Okay, back on topic. We're at Final Fantasy. Not discussing games and trading and things like that. And it's quite a big dungeon. Uh, we get about 19 minutes per dungeon. Uh, that's more than enough most of the times. <coughs> I'm not sure if the time increases on hard mode. But even on hard mode, I should say 19 minutes is more than feasible to do. So yeah, you get 90 minutes, it takes about half an hour, one dungeon on normal, so... Uh, hard mode is mostly double as hard, so you have 60 minutes extra to do it. Should, should be feasible. Right here, the orb is protected by a magic barrier. We will have to find the rosary before we can enter there. And we just have to kill these enemies. And then move along to find that rosary. The rosary, or. I'm not sure. Correct me whenever I'm wrong, please. My English isn't flawless. Most certainly, as I am not a native English speaker. So, there's the barrier. Let's find that thing. I can see it, but it's protected. Kill all the enemies! don't really pose a threat. <coughs> or maybe I'm just overleveled for this dungeon. Most of the times if you're uh, six levels above the requirement for the dungeon or fate or whatever, you, your level got, is gonna get synced. way to put the thing there. That's nice. <coughs> okay, I think these are the last orbs over here. Let's go one on the left and one on the right. I'm gonna take out the mages. Put them focus on the bats. Shouldn't be too hard for them. Mm 
mini boss. This a bit tougher than the previous two. But no match for our party. for me and there you have it it was most of the dungeon and as with most dungeon in most games there's an, an boss on the end and here we have him Zoidberg I think why not Zoidberg Indeed. That's what I must have thought. And even he is not that difficult. Just summon some monsters to aid him in the battle. This one shields him. I'm gonna have to take that out before I can hit him again. Which in the last time I done this dungeon, I partly forgot and got wiped out. Just hitting him and keep thinking, why does it say invulnerable? Put the helm on it. Destroy the shield guys first. And then the rest of the enemies. Then focus on the boss again. <coughs> yes. These enemies are quite weak, but they can be quite annoying. And if you let them live, they'll gang up on you and eat away at your HP. Oh, get away from here. I could have just interrupted it, but I'm not taking the risk. Tank is not drawing his attention correctly. He's after our major, I think. I'll do this. Don't you worry. Bad thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Alright, no more singing. Back to being sweet. Here's the list of story. Let's give him the last bit of beating before he leaves. Before we're done here. Then give him the ability to summon more of the beasts, monsters or creatures or whatever you want to call them. Yep. And we reached the limit breaker, so we're doing a lot of more damage. I only noticed this right now. 
Alright, so that was the Temptera Deepcraft. Let's see what kind of loot we get. Alright. I always give the mage a commendation. Certainly now, as he's done a great job. I got one myself too. And I'm gonna quit this episode right now. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time.